Hello, it's Mr. Bonley. I have a counting chart on the board. We're going to go through the known values of various rhythms. You can see that the whole note gets four full beats. Four beats. The half note gets two beats. Quarter note gets one beat. Eighth note gets half of a beat. And then our sixteenth note gets a fourth of a beat. And if you look up here, it's directly proportional. One sixteenth note right here is a fourth. See, there's four sixteenth notes in a beat. If you only have one of them, it's one fourth of the beat. Down here, the dotted half note gets three beats. Dotted quarter note gets one and a half. Dotted eighth note gets three fourths. And a dotted sixteenth note, which you don't have to worry about too often, gets three eighths of a beat. It's kind of a weird one, and it's all directly proportional to fractions and math. So, let's put some values up. Whole note gets four full beats, so it'll cover up beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. It covers up all of it. So it has how many sixteenth notes? Sixteen. Okay, let's go into our, our half note. Our half note gets two beats. So it covers up beat one and beat two. So it covers up that much. So the half note covers up that many beats. So be eight sixteenth notes. Quarter note, that will cover up one beat or four sixteenth notes. So whatever rhythm will come after that quarter note starts right here on beat two. Eighth note gets half of a beat. Okay, so here's a beat. This is all a beat one. Half of it would just be right here, up to the E. So whatever note comes after this eighth note starts on the and. Our sixteenth note, most of the time you don't see it written like that. Most of the time you have a few sixteenth notes in a row. Like that. That's a sixteenth note, and that's a sixteenth note. This is an eighth note, because it only has one one beam. These notes here have two beams. One, two. So these are sixteenth notes. They're both worth one sixteenth note, or one fourth of the beat. So it covers up that. This is on the E. This would be right on the AND. So I'd actually have to write that over here a little bit clearer. Okay. Dotted half note. These are three full beats. Our dotted quarter note is worth one and a half beats. So it's worth all of that beat and half of this one, so it goes up to the E, and then the next beat starts on the end. The next note would start on the end, pardon me. Okay, a dotted eighth note, and a lot of times we see a dotted eighth note like this. That means that this note here is a sixteenth note because it has two beams. This is a dotted eighth note. It covers up three-fourths of a beat. So three-fourths of this beat is, you know, there's four notes in one beat, so three of them. It covers up three out of the four. So it would cover up one, E, and, and then this note comes on the uh. Now I'm not even going to get into this, the dotted sixteenth note. But that's, this is the general things that we use to put a rhythm together. All right, fresh and van. So looking at the rhythm worksheet number one, there's three counting charts. One, two, three. And at the bottom it says write the following rhythms in the counting charts. So like the number one rhythm here, number one, you're going to write it up here right underneath that. Okay, we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna take, um, we're gonna take, we're gonna actually take number two here, the first measure of number two, and we're gonna write that in on the counting chart. So you can have that first measure. So find number two, and you're gonna write it right underneath. Okay. So first note is a dotted eighth note. You dot by it. You just don't know how long that's gonna go. Dotted eighth notes down here. Three fourths of a beat. Well, a beat has four sixteenth notes. One, two, three, four. And 
the dotted eighth says we need three out of the four. So the one E and, which means the next note goes on the up, whatever it is. In this case, it's a sixteenth note. So that's how we start. Now a sixteenth note, one fourth of a beat, or one sixteenth note. So the next beat goes, or the next note goes on beat two. It happens to be another dotted eighth note. So we know it covers up three sixteenths, three fourths, one, two, three. So the next one's on the uh, and it happens to be another sixteenth note. A sixteenth note is one fourth of a beat. Remembering a beat has four sixteenth notes in it. One, two, three, four. We only need one. So only one sixteenth note. So the next note goes on to three. And it happens to be an eighth note. Okay, what is an eighth note? Half of a beat. Half of a beat. So a beat has four sixteenth notes. What's half of four? Two. So every eighth note gets two sixteenth notes. So it covers up the three E. So the next note goes on the and. It's another eighth note. So there's one beam there. So half of a beat. How many sixteenth notes are in a beat? Four. Take half of four, because it's half of a beat. And we know that there are four sixteenth notes in a beat. Take half, two sixteenth notes, covers up the and up. The next goes right here at four. So we got four and, and you know how the four in the end fit in there. Okay, that is first measure of number two. You'll have to finish the second measure of number two by yourself. Let's take a look at the first measure of number three. Start with the quarter note. The neat one, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Quarter note, <coughs> well, quarter note covers up a full beat. How many sixteenth notes are in a beat? Four. One, two, three, Four. So the next note goes on two. And it happens to be an eighth note. Eighth note covers up half of a beat. Two sixteenth notes. One, two. Okay, so the next note's on the and. Okay? And what type of a note? It's going to be a sixteenth note. And it covers up, the sixteenth note only covers up one sixteenth note. So the next one goes on the uh. Since this is a 16th note, because it has two beams, one, two, it will only cover up one 16th note. So the next note is on three. Okay, and what is it? It's quarter S. Here's how you draw a quarter S. I just go less than C. Less than C. And it, okay, it's a quarter S. What type of a note is that like? Is it like a half note? No, no. A half S is like a half note. Is it like a quarter note? Yeah, quarter rest is like a quarter note. So it gets one full beat of rest, or 16th note, uh, four 16th notes. One, two, three, four. Next note goes on four. Okay, and what is the next note? It's quarter note. Quarter note covers up four 16th notes, and that's the end of the first measure. That's how it should look. Now, you can pause the video at this point because we are going to give you some time to finish up writing those rhythms in the counting charts above before we go to the back side where you do some listening and we'll have to identify rhythms. Press pause, please. We will pause here for a moment so that you can get all of those rhythms written in before we go to the back side in which you will have some listening examples and you'll have to circle the rhythm that you hear. But right now, press pause, and we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, freshman man, I'm going to go through the rhythms on the back of your sheet. Please follow along. I'm going to play through um, number one. I'll play through A, B, C. Then I'll play through number two, A, B, C. Right in that order, so that you can hear what they sound like before I have you have to identify them. Here's number one, letter A. One, two, three, four. Here's number one, letter B. One, two, three, four.
Here's number one, letter C. One, two, three, four. Here's number two, letter A. Ready, and three, four. Here's number two, letter B. One, two, three, four. Do that one again. One, two, three, four. Number two, letter C. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, so you've heard all of those rhythms. Here's number one. I will play it three times. Do not ask your neighbor for help, but circle the one that you hear. I will play it three times. This is number one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Please circle your answer for number one. Here's number two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Please circle your answer for number two. And lastly, number three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Please circle your answer for number three. Make sure your name is on the front, and then you can pass them to your left. Pass them to your left. Thank you.